give thanks. Give thanks and praise. Master R.I.P. From the community elder. Yeah, man. Elder wife and daughter. Tell me same pass yesterday. Yes, he uh, went to the mall to fix his phone. And I guess he passed out, you know. I think the elder did have quite a few different, different <coughs> ailments. And then you know the sun kind of miserable during the daytime. So, you know. Daughter says she does get a call and ask if, if she's such and such, and you know, if she knows such and such, and in pass out down there by the mall. But when they might tell me, need actually a ride out, you know, me have to really express to them, say, boy. Even though now tell me, you know, it's kind of hard to believe because just when two days ago, me I hear the brethren and I'm so familiar with always a chit chat and hear, you know. Yeah, man, it make you become cognizant of we as man, frailty. But to the place of violent, everybody I look for the violent death. Sometimes we as elder too, we don't really go doctor, doctor and thing. And even when we go doctor, doctor, you know, sometimes we find, say, uh, we wait so long, the ailment them just compound. And you have a lot of elders where still not have no interest in I get certain check. So you were there, there talking good and, you know, lively, even exercise and you just go sleep or you just go up there in the sun or, you know what I mean? And that's it. Yeah, man, so it really, you know? Yeah, my fear is about rest in power. Good elder. Yeah, man. It's a situation where even I, young Sophia Fox, uh, even as a youth when I'm on, Bro, never ma find myself in a situation where my actions or my conduct will affect even my brethren, them or my loved ones. They need to cease the activity or, you know, ma isolate myself, ma leave from where my loved ones and my brethren, them there. And then a brand new place where my actions or activity can only affect I. Yeah, man, where I will always be, you know, responsible. Yeah, me not have a problem. I accept the consequences of my action. Yeah, what will rest on your conscience is when other people suffer for your actions. So the moment I become cognizant of them things, I uh, find some where I'll become a bit, you know, I start with drums, so basically. Uh, I said, oh, I love them people, they have too much to say, not hurt or harm um, come to them. Yeah, I start to isolate myself. And even with the platform, it's a good thing the information that I share, it's not so volatile where people would want to destroy me this information. You understand? And it's only because of the situation when we see we have to present it this way because nobody now appear. There is no fame, no fortune or no success for a team with just sharing this kind of information. And then most of the people clueless to even the platform and more so clueless to the information. So 
we're not really a threat. Yeah, man, we are not a threat to absolutely no one more than just no about yeah, you know. Bring an accusation, then it's all right. To counter whatever accusation, yeah, bring bring our counterclaim or to defend whatever is being presented. Yeah. And we function from a perspective of good faith agreement. Uh, we don't really comprehend contract, that's why we in a problem. So even when we use the word contract loosely, it's just that to define what is out there. But as we go along we discover say, a more good faith agreement and arrangement. You know what I mean? Cause you only can make contract when, you know. All of the elements are in place. So in the Babylon system, them say you have one-sided contract, you have a hidden contract, you have unilateral contract, you have you know implied contract, you have written, you know what I mean? So good faith agreement really balance the thing. It's just that good faith. So if you now come with clean and pure art, then you know, we not get involved. So as we go along, we have to balance this thing, we have to improve ourselves. And again, the moment my information are the things that we may do, we affect the ones that are around me, are my brethren, them are my loved ones. You know what I mean? Then me have to go really. You know, choose the seeds in activity if it becomes that volatile, if people, you know, become concerned. Yeah. Or may I have to just isolate myself then, remove myself from my people then, I'm gone in the bush. Yeah, me now have no phone, me now have no kind of nothing like that, me now, you know. Off grid, nobody link with ones and no ones, nobody link with me. I'm just live my little, yeah. I like them kind of ideas, they you know. You know, have no issue, you know, hold it out. This is how we've always been working. Yeah, man, but when you have the family structure, that's the perfection, that's the true order of things. Yeah, man, and that's how you reel again. The divine power. <laughs> because love is there. Yeah, man. Love or the highest energy out there. This is why them teach our people loss and not love anymore. So people is in a loss would stay. You understand? Earth is out of course, people. We just show that, you know, quick flow, you have to say, rest in peace and power, the community elder, condolence to the loved ones, to the family members. And yeah, it makes we become mindful. So even I, I'm on love for exercise and run, I have my time when I'm out there in the sun. So if my eyes are held up, we out there run and when you look, me just drop on my face, knock out, dead. Simple as that. And a man would have said, yeah, how oh, the man is so healthy and what go on? Now I said the elder and the elder don't look sickly. It's just an elder, probably in his 70s, you know. But you know when you beat up and, you know, it make you even look more ancient than you would be. I always like the elder man, I don't like it's a thing where it, boy, it touch me in such a way where I have to, you know, I have to, I have to just jump off my bicycle and push it and I walk and I say, well, I walk a little bit, you know, even though I tell me this, I know it's a joke, 
I just find it hard to believe because I just a picture the elder just like and not even two days ago me a pass and heal on me man, lit up on me, heal up on me, you know? Two little words while I'm a reason with some other ones and well, I graduate, I just ride, go check the next elder where I probably about a year and a half or two years when I said that elder. Where. I just go up on the men's and sit here with him for a few. Yeah, a couple hours and reason and you know, make him know say give thanks for your energy and things. And I have to do them thing now with, you know, shout out to my elder, Iron Eagle. Shout out to my elder, Kiddo. Shout out to my elder, Smiley. Shout out to my elder, Levi. Yeah, man. Shout out to the elders, them out there, you know. I um, know as man when they love no hospital, hospital thing, you know. But when everybody I get violent, better, quick, that sometimes I you just lax. Yeah, and I as man, I'm not immune. I don't no love about me, I got to do this and that. But from it necessary, you get your check and make sure this is in order, that is in order, and, you know. You balance as best you can your diet. Uh, usually it starts with your diet. Any kind of disease or ailment usually start with the diet. Yeah, man. So condolences out there. Yeah. Right, my couple companions and so do I even I make you under your now for YouTube or share information with the eye and then one and a look. No, yes, say, uh, yeah, the sovereign man drop out and thing. Uh, it, it, you know, it is strange. It is strange. But we, you know, give thanks and prepare and say, you know, long life, man, I live on. However long it is, I could have a minute. Man, I live on. So again, condolences to the family members and loved ones. In fact, the elder. I think a last son that the elder bury one I'm son. The elder when me a talk about just that. Yeah man, a last son that, you know, bury one I'm son. You know, family always have differences, you know. But yeah, a family then. Then the elder drop flesh, you know. So that's condolences straight across the board right now. I have fair ask the elder wife. Me I said, Mommy, I will go on. Look like the you have money. Fair, you know, I keep funeral every week. I will go on. But, you know, one of those situations, man. I man truly appreciate the people and what in my life. Truly. I appreciate them so much where, you know, yeah. Yeah, man. And I always respect my elders. I can catch up with kid up and I catch up with kid up uh, and touch base and you know, get to return the call. But no, so when I have any kind of consultation with them on there, yeah, always on the phone. So I have to prepare for that. Yeah, man. Again, salute to the elders. When they are court the other day, the elder attorney, Miguel Lan, they actually met the man, but the man, he ancient brethren, a real big old man then. Yeah. It was interesting. Because the only energy I detect from him is the energy of a fox, you know, because even though the man hold the man sharp, same way, well, you know, Sharp is up a fox, you know. Uh, you don't know every man of them story, but it was a real pleasure for really shake the elder on and you know, grace the elder show, you know, them celebrate the ones you know. The elder, me always honor my elder, them not care how it goes, me always show respect to the elder, them give me me a fear, you know. Chastise them verbally at times, or correct them, or share information assertively with them. I love me, 
Me a youth, me always there around the elders them, man. Love with elders, man. Anyway, just a quick pass through for said, you know, rest in peace and power with community elders. Salute out there. Salute.